And affiliate marketing is really the first online business which starts to combine two of my three favorite things, leverage, and vacation. You have seen this cool 3D animation in Iman Ghazi's videos. His videos looks amazing because of smooth camera movements and amazing text animations. But do you know how to make it? In this video, I'll show you step by step how you can create this using After Effects. You will be able to do it even if you are a beginner. I know it looks complex, but don't worry, I'll make it super simple. And stick till this end of this video, I'll share some resources that will help you to create this effect. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. First open Photoshop, then import any image that you want to create this animation. So I imported this image. So in Photoshop, we have to separate model from the background so that we can animate model heads and his hands. So select the layer, go to select and select and mask and click cloud detail results and click select subject. Then adjust selection with the help of brush. Then select output to to layer mask and adjust the shift edge and contrast and feather and click on ok. Make sure the background is fully removed. Then duplicate this layer by clicking ctrl j and select the bottom layer and delete the mask and hide the upper layer and draw a selection around the model. And click on generate fill then generate then photoshop automatically remove the model from the image as you can see. So you have to export the background without the model and only with the model like this like only the model and then only background then open after effects then create a new project then create a new composition and make sure the composition size is 1920 by 1080 with 30 fps and duration you can set 10 seconds and click on ok then import our background image then our model then click the model layer and go to the puppet tool and add the pointers like I am adding like in his head his neck his shoulder, his elbows, like this. Then select the head point and move towards slightly left and select the finger points and move slightly up and move few frames forward. Then move his head slightly right and his head slightly down and press U while clicking the layer and select the first keyframes and press Ctrl C and move few frames forward and press Ctrl V. Then copy second two keyframes, press Ctrl C, move few frames forward and paste it and repeat this process till the end of the animation. So as you can see his head and his hands are moving. Then create a ring by clicking on the shape tool and long press to this tool and select ellipse tool and draw a ring and make sure you are holding shift. Then go to fill and disable it and increase the stroke little bit and click this shape layer and press ctrl alt home so that our anchor point of the shape layer go to the center and add our icons place them according to your needs then open shape layer go to ellipse go to ellipse 1 stroke 1 and open dashes and on dashes click on plus icon and increase the dashes and increase it till it goes to 3 numbers so now it is 3 and rotate it as per your need and place your icon accordingly and in your icons add fill effect and change the color to white paste it to all icons and add an effect called glow change composite original to on top decrease the threshold to zero and increase the radius and increase the intensity so as you can see before and after and paste to all icons now create a null now move your null to the center of the shape layer and how you can do this so here is the trick select your shape layer and press ctrl r so that our guides will open and drag it to the center of this shape layer like this horizontal as well as vertical both now move your null to the center of this guides hola it is done now select all the icons in the shape layer and parent to the null and add a rotation keyframe to the null add first keyframe at the start of the animation and second keyframe at the end of the animation now you can see it is rotating but you can see here is one problem the animation is working properly but icons are only rotating on a universal basis we want our icons also rotate on its own so that it will not look like this so how we can do this it is easy. Select any icon and press R to open the rotation and hold Alt and click to the stopwatch so that we can add an expression to it and drag its pick whip to the rotation of the null. And you can see here is one expression added and in this expression just add star minus 1. Now you can see this icon is also rotating on its own. So just we have to copy this expression and paste all the icons. Click rotation, right click and click on copy expression only and select both the icons and press ctrl V. It is done. Now you can see all the icons is also rotating on its own. It is that simple. And move all the icons and shapes below the model and add deep glow to the shape layer 
and click on required for text now press ctrl a and move all the layers to the 3d layer and click on one view to two view and make this view from front to top like now you can see our icons are showing in front of the model so to fix this we have to move our icons to backward of our model firstly select the background layer and move it to the backward little bit then select to the null and move it little bit backward but make sure it is middle of the model and the background layer like this layer is our model and this one is our background layer so make sure our all icons and shape layer is middle of them and now right click and click to the new click on the camera and press ok now change this to two view to one view and move few frames forward and then open transform property of the camera and add keyframe to the point of interest and position and move few frames forward and select pen tool and move this camera little bit right while pressing shift and at the first of the keyframe move the camera little bit of the left so that our model shown in center then it will go to the right like this or you can do this according to your need so i like this so it look like this now right click so now press ctrl t to add text so first we add number 2 and increase the size and add font akira and move it to the bottom corner and disable the fill enable the stroke and press t make the opacity 50 and add a gaussian brush to this layer and go to the start of this text and increase the blurriness to 40 and uncheck repeat edges pixel and click on the stopwatch move 10 frames forward and reduce the blur to zero and go to the start of the text and add keyframe to the opacity and move this keyframe 10 frames forward and add one more keyframe and make it to zero now you can see it is appearing like this now add this text and open text option then click on animate play button and add opacity then click on add property blur add property rotation you have to add three property rotation opacity blur make the rotation around 53 degree and opacity zero and blur 90% then open range selector option go to advance then change shape option to square to ramp up then add keyframe to the offset and make it to minus 100 then move few frames forward and make it to plus 100 now you can see this animation and it is exact same like Iman Ghazi and if you want this animation to slow you can increase length between both the keyframes like this now you can see the animation goes slow now add d bullet to the text and click on required for text reduce the radius and reduce the intensity little bit now add one shape layer and make the stroke of the shape layer around 4 pixel and fill opacity around 10 percent and color of both stroke and fill must be white now open shape layer then open content fill one and add keyframe to the opacity now it is 10 percent move few frames forward make it to 2 percent then copy first keyframe move 10 frame and paste it then copy then again repeat this process now you can see a flicker effect now add the text and add opacity keyframe and gaussian blur keyframe same as this text so it will look like this then select both the layer and press ctrl d move it to the top move few frame forwards and move it to the right like this and change the text to vacation we will add two null to parent both the shapes layer so that we can add position keyframe so right click add new add null object and move it to the top of the leverage layer and move at the center of this text and cut from the left like this now parent both the layer to this null add position keyframe move 20 frames forward and add another keyframe then go to the first keyframe make it down little bit select the keyframe and make it down little bit and select both the keyframe press f9 now you can see it will look like this and add another null layer and do same with this layer now select the shape layer press r now hold alt and click on the stopwatch and add one keyframe wiggle 1 comma 200 now it will look like this if, if it look too fast you can add 0.5 now it is perfect copy this expression and paste to this shape layer too and press ctrl a to turn on motion blur of all the layer to make this animation smooth select the text layer press u select the keyframe and press f9 by pressing f9 our animation will go smooth and we can add an adjustment layer top of the background layer and in the adjustment layer we will add a gradient ramp with the pink and blue color from left to right and also add a lumetric color to reduce the exposure a little bit so that our focus will go on model not the background and that's it. Now you know how you can create Iman Ghazi 3D animation inside After Effects. If you found this video helpful, drop a comment and tell me which effect you want me to break down next. But before leaving this video, check out our video editing guide for 2025.
in which I covered how you can learn video editing, how you can earn from video editing and at the end how you can make your career in video editing. So if you want to know everything about video editing, so check out this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.